the sights of the Atlanta skyline as we are here in the heart of Georgia. For the Philadelphia 76ers, they won their last contest that game against Chicago. They just looked stable pretty much from the get-go, guys. I mean, sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in a road game that you don't see at home, but not the case in that one. Tremendous balance on display, Greg. I mean, when you look at who was carrying the scoring load, making assists, playing unselfishly, I mean, they had it all working, and that led to the nice road win. A three-game season series between the two teams. Yeah, no splits here, partner. One team will have bragging rights, and a win tonight is the first step. Here's Captain Clutch. Power down after the assist led him into the lane. And, Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not... Passes it to Cephalosha from 11 feet away. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Number one for them right now. Taken away by Rodriguez. Good! Rodriguez has got six. College coaches, he used to say, that ain't gonna get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play. Hawks ahead, leading by just two. 2K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. He is with, with having that fun on the court uh, that he's after. Yes. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game. And let's step aside for a minute to look at some of the point guards who have been doing a whole lot more than passing lately. They're the top scorers at that position over the last 10 games. Take a look at Captain Clutch, leading the league in points per game. In a game that was so tight. Cephalosha's shot is good. Team. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. And he gets the bucket. And that's now 24 points for Captain Clutch. And there's the feed to Millsap. Shot clock at three. And oh, here we go with Bayless. Nobody back. Finished off the break. And now an 8.76ers lead. Here's Captain Clutch. He's guarded by Schroeder. And he gets the bucket. Captain Clutch has got the lead up to eight now for Philadelphia. And for a decent chunk of their offense, he's averaging over 15 points a game. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. And the first half is now in the books. 76ers lead by six. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They never trailed by more than three points, and it was neck and neck the entire period. The second quarter was when things really came together for them, and the result is they were able to build a solid six-point lead at the half. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? You know what jumps out at me? Their efficiency on the offensive end. They shared the basketball, good shot selection. They showed a lot of patience, and that patience will be tested the rest of the way. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? Where was the sense of urgency? We all know they're capable of playing better. And no one wants to give up a ridiculous high shooting percentage. They need a little attitude adjustment in the second half, or this game will get away from them. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Spooner still with room to grow. I mean, he needs to improve his three-point shot and, and cut down his turnovers. But those are things that often come with time. And he's got time, still very young. Defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed. Just kicks to Rodriguez. Now let's go to the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been training everything they put up this month. The 76ers number one. Yeah, Kevin, it's been a long month for anybody who plays these guys. I mean, they've been shooting the lights out. And it's been game after game after game. He feeds it to Muscala, takes a three, and it's good. With consistency, five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight. 76ers on defense. Hardaway for three. Good. Hardaway has got five points. So Back to Humphreys. 
lets it go from deep. That's good, and the 76ers' lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from D. That has to react quicker. Here's Rodriguez, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. 76ers ahead. They lead by six. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Skill. Yeah, he's just really a good all-around basketball player. He can pass, handle, step out, and hit the three. Yes. Very, very versatile. Um, he makes an, an impact on the game. Millsap dishes to Schroeder. That's good. Yeah, that's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. Offensively. Henderson passes to Captain Clutch, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. Tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way, you're late. To the middle, a great one-two punch, beautiful pass, and nasty jam. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. Shot clock at five. Captain Clutch passes to Okafor. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 76ers. Millsap sets the pick for Korver. Here's Schroeder. Nails it! And now they trail by just four. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And I respect that, but at some point, if it's over, it's over. I mean, you need to be looking at, at the next one. This one's done. Forget about it. Let's move on. What a final quarter these guys are having from downtown, just burying the threes in bunches. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Here's Schroeder. No good there. So the 76ers win it. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge and the impact carried them through the entire game. He accounted for more than half of their points. An amazing output. When there was a bucket they absolutely had to have, he was the guy they went to. Now that's an awful lot for one player, but he did not let them down. I don't know what got into him tonight. Who? He caught the scoring bug and was just pouring it in the paint. That's the kind of offense he's capable of delivering when he sets his mind to it.